Hi everyone, in this short video, we will show how to discover and classify sensitive data and control access to it in Snowflake without making any changes to your data warehouse. Security and privacy regulations require organizations to map their sensitive data and make sure that the access to it is on a need to know basis. The traditional way of achieving this is to identify all tables with sensitive data and to set up access controls for each one, which requires a lot of ongoing effort. For this demo, we have set up two single sign-on applications, one to access Snowflake directly and another to access Snowflake through Satori. Of course, Satori supports all data access protocols and tools including SnowSQL, SQL Workbench, and JDBC and ODBC drivers. The screen on the left is the Snowflake web application and the screen on the right is the same application with Satori's data protection and governance. Note that there is no difference in user experience when accessing data. Our Snowflake warehouse contains a customer's table with PII data. Let's retrieve data from that table. Satori inspects all queries and responses to and from Snowflake. And if we go to the Satori management console, we can see that Satori has automatically recognized that the customer table includes PII data and that data has been retrieved. This functionality is available out of the box with no pre-configuration required. Defining access policies is done through the policy editor. The policy editor provides a lot of flexibility, and in this case, I will configure a simple policy that will block access to ML data. Note that I'm not required to define in which table or even in which data store emails exist, since Satori inspects actual responses regardless of where the data is now or moves to in the future. Now, if I go back to my protected Snowflake environment and retrieve data that contains email, I will be blocked by Satori. However, if I refine my query to exclude emails, I can still access data that I'm authorized to access. Satori's data-centric policies enable implementing security and privacy controls without applying changes to data or schemas. Onboarding a Snowflake instance onto Satori is pretty straightforward. All that is required is copying your Snowflake connection string into the Satori management console and choosing the cloud region you're using. You can try Satori for free. To open an account, go to satoricyber.com.